Okay, welcome to today's tutorial. So in this tutorial, we're going to discuss how we can find the range of values of x that satisfies the inequalities. Okay. So if you have not yet subscribed to the channel, make sure that you do so by clicking on the subscription button and the notification button. And if you have any questions, feel free to contact me on any of the lines on the screen. So let's see how we can solve these questions. So the first thing that we need to um, find when you've been given such a question, you need to find what are known as critical points. So we have, the question is x squared minus 3x plus 2. So to find crit critical points, we equate these to 0. I mean, we equate the equation to 0. So we're going to factorize this equation. So the product for this equation is simply just going to be found by multiplying the coefficient of x squared and the constant. 2 times 1 will get 2. Then the sum is going to be found by just getting the coefficient of x, which is negative 3. Okay. So the factors of um, the product that if we multiply them, we we'll get 2. And if we add them, we we'll get negative 3 are simply just negative 1 and negative 2. So when you multiply the 2, you get positive 2. When you add them, you get negative 3. Okay. So let us, um, let us now replace the factors while there's negative 3 there. So we have x squared, then we have negative x, and then negative 2x then we have positive 2 there, say this is equal to 0. So we open the brackets there, we have x minus 1, then we factorize there, also have x minus 1. Then we're going to have x minus 1 there, and the x minus 2 there, say this is equal to 0. So when you equate both factors to 0, we're going to get x minus 1 is equal to 0, and x minus 2 is equal to 0. So you take this negative 1 to the other side of the equal sign, you get x is equal to positive 1. Then you take this negative 1 to the, uh, the negative 2 to the other side, you get x is equal to 2. So these are known as uh, the critical points. So these are not the final solutions, but these are just points that we're going to use to test to find the range of values of x. So I'm going to draw a simple number line here where I'm going to put my critical points. So the two critical points I have are 1 and 2. So these numbers that are this side are going to say these are values of x that are less than 1. The numbers in between are values of x between um, 1 and 2. Then numbers this side are values of x that are greater than 2. So I'm going to write the same equation and put back the symbol there, which is the greater than symbol. So Oh, sorry. I'm, instead, I'm supposed to write this. So I'm not supposed to write this. I'm supposed to write this expression. So let me just write it here. So I'm having x minus. You can even use this same one. There's no problem. But I prefer using this one. Then I'll put this symbol, which is the greater than symbol. So I'm going to get any number that is less than 1. Uh, so in this case, I can even get a 0. So, again, so when I get that 0, I'll replace it where there's x to test to find if this region will be accepted, if it's part of the range of values of x. So you can put a 0 there. 0 minus 1, we're getting negative 1. So negative 1 is a negative number. I'll just write a negative there. And then 0 minus 2 also give us negative 2. It's also a negative number. I'll just write a negative. Negative times negative gave us a positive. So is a positive number greater than 0? following this symbol here, is it greater than zero? The answer is yes, meaning this is one of the ranges of values of x that we're looking for. Okay, so we also get any number between one and two. 
so we can get 1.5 when you put 1.5 here where this x you have 1.5 minus 1 the answer is 0 0.5 which is a positive number so we're going to put a positive number there i mean a positive symbol and then 1.5 minus 2 will give us a negative answer so we put a negative there so negative times positive the answer will be negative is a negative number greater than zero the answer is no and if the answer is no meaning this region is not part of our solutions so we get any number that is greater than two so any number that is greater than two we can even get three so when you put three where there's x there are going to have three minus one the answer is positive two so i'm going to put positive two there and then three minus two the answer is uh, positive as well so you put a positive symbol there positive times positive the answer is positive so is a positive number greater than zero the answer is yes so the two regions that we're looking for which will satisfy this inequality are simply just x less than one and x greater than two these are the two regions that we are looking for okay so I'll also pick another question. So the same way I've solved this one is the same way you solve this one. The first thing, you find the critical points. And then after finding the critical points, you test them in the region. So make sure that if there is a greater or equal to symbol or less or equal to symbol, even these, you just, you put my equal symbols like that. So meaning the solutions should also have the less or equal to or greater or equal to symbols. So that's the only difference between this one and this one. Yeah, otherwise you find the critical points and also put them on the number line like that. So let's take a look at how we can find this one. So the same way I've found this one, it's the same way you find this and also this one. Let me just solve this one. So if, if you want, you can solve the questions which I've left, this one, this one and that one. Then submit the solutions using my WhatsApp line. Then I'll help you. I'll tell you whether your solution is correct or wrong. So this is what we have. So we take this. Uh, before we take it, we take negative 1 to the other side of the equal sign. The first thing that we need to do is to equate this to 0. So we're going to say 2x squared minus 1 is equal to zero so uh, we have done this so that we can find the critical points so you take this negative one to the other side of the equal sign and then later divide by two so you're going to get x squared is equal to one over two and then to find the critical points you say x you find the square root of both sides this side and this side of course this should be plus or minus so the value of x will be plus or minus the square root of 1 over 2 so these are some of I mean these are the two critical points that we have so we take them on the number line so you can also write them as plus or minus 1 over the root of 2 so what you just do is you just put them on the number line so you have negative one root 1 over 2 and also positive 1 over root 2 so this side you have x less than negative 1 over root 2 here you have um, negative 1 over root 2 less x less 1 over root 2. This side you have x uh, greater than 1 over the root of 2. So these are the regions that we have. Now let us test for the solution. So any number that is less than um, negative 1 over the root of 2 you can even get negative 3. And when testing you can use this same expression here. Yeah, so you can use this expression, you can get um, negative 3. When you put negative 3 there, you're going to have 9 times 2, that would be 18 minus 1. Is 18 minus 1, that is um, 
17 less or equal to 0 the answer is no meaning this region will be rejected so we get any number that is between negative 1 over the root of 2 and 1 over the root of 2 we can even get a 0 because we know to say between any negative and positive number there is always 0 so we can get a 0 so when I put a 0 there I'm going to get negative 1 is negative 1 less than 0 the answer is yes meaning this region will be accepted then you can also get any number that is greater than 1 over the root of 2 and that number we can even get 2 or 3 we can get 5 ok let me use 5 so 5 squared the answer is 25 25 times 2 that is 50 50 minus 1 the answer is 49 is 49 less or equal to 0 the answer is no so this region is rejected so, I mean the, re the range of values of x that we are looking for is simply just uh, from negative 1 over the root of 2 2 and because there is less or equal to symbol here like I said you put less or equal to symbols there so we say less or equal to x which is less or equal to 1 over the root of 2 so this is exactly how you're supposed to solve such questions so if you have any questions uh, feel free to contact me on any of the lines that I showed you on the screen and don't forget to subscribe to the channel and also click on the notification button my name is Hamted see you in the next tutorial video shalom shalom